Hello! In this working video, we are going to show you how to prepare and make analysis of samples with the Lab to Scan Somatic Cells Counter in few easy steps. Please make sure you have read the instruction manual before you start working with the device. To begin with, open the box and carefully take out all the parts necessary for testing with the device. When you have done this, the first thing to do is to put the USB flash drive in the USB port at the back side of the Lectoscan in order to connect it to the device along with the wireless keyboard and then press the power on button next to it in order to switch on the device. Press the on button of the screen as well. The first thing you will see after switching on is the display initial. Wait for a couple of seconds until everything is loaded and then press the button Continue in order to proceed to the main display. The device is now fully switched on. In order to proceed with the preparation of the samples for the analysis, carefully take out the needed amount of Sophia Green liquid dye pieces out of their package and place them with their clubs open on the rack. To prepare a sample, you need raw milk, just milked or preserved, with room temperature from 15 to 25 degrees Celsius. The necessary minimum volume is 30 microliters. Always stir well before taking the sample. Using the mini vortex mixer, stir the raw milk sample as you place the tip of the container in the stirrer, press and keep it pressed for 1 or 2 seconds, then remove it. Repeat it three or four times, paying attention during the steering process the sample not to reach the cap of the container. Repeat the procedure with all the samples. When finished, open the sample's clamps. Take preliminary set to 100 microliters automatic pipette. Place it vertically over one of the tips on the working rack and place the cone of the pipette in the opening of the tip by slightly pressing it. From initial position, press the working button of the pipette till the first stop is reached. Keep it pressed and dip 2 or 3 millimeters of the tip in the milk. Smoothly release the working button and take out the tip from the liquid. Touch the walls of the bottle to remove the excessive milk. Pipette reference solution in the open microtube on the rack by smoothly pressing the working button of the pipette from the initial position to the first stop. After a short period, press the button to the second stop. In this way, you'll empty the tip and will guarantee precise pipetting. Always pipette the reference solution without dipping the tip in the lipolized dye. Release the button to its initial position. Press the button for removing the tip and remove the tip in an appropriate garbage can. After you have finished, close the clamps of the microtubes and proceed to the steering of the reference solutions as you place the tip of the microtube in the opening of the steerer mini vortex. Press and hold it pressed for 1 or 2 seconds and remove. One minute is needed for an interaction of the solution with the dye. If it's less than a minute or more than 20 minutes, the results may not be accurate. Now it's time for pipetting the samples in the microfluidic camera of Lacto chip. If your samples are 8 microliters, you have to use Lactochip 4, and if it's 14 microliters, you have to use Lactochip 2. Carefully take the microfluidic camera out of its package. Do not touch the upper surface of the Lactochip. Always hold its side edges. Open the microtube containing the solutions. Press the working button of the pipette, keep it pressed and dip 2 or 3 millimeters of the top in the solution. 
smoothly release the working button to the initial position. Take out the tip from the liquid by touching the walls of the bottle to remove the excessive solution. Pipette the solution at an angle of approximately 80 degrees to the filling opening in the semicircular shape. Pipetting is done by smooth pressing the working button of the pipette from the initial position to the first stop. Hold the button at the first stop, remove the pipette from the leg to chip and smoothly release the button to the initial position. Carefully repeat the same procedure with all the samples. Avoid forming bubbles in the microfluidic camera and splashes when pipetting the samples. Press Start on the main screen, then choose the type of chip from the drop-down menu. Choose the type of milk from the drop-down menu. Then enter the name of the supplier or choose from the drop-down menu. After entering all the information, press New Test to proceed with the analysis. On the screen, a message will be displayed showing that the carriage for placing the lacto chip comes out of the door. Place the lacto chip into the carriage and press Continue. The device is now making the analysis of the samples. When ready, in order to print the results, press Print. It is not necessary to choose a printer or form of printing. By default, it is accepted that Lectoscan will print the results on the integrated printer in a short form. Your results are now printed. In order to save the results and continue, press Save and Exit. A message is shown to remove the microfluidic camera from the carriage. Take the lacto chip out. To proceed back to the manual screen, press Continue. Choose Display Graph from the screen options in order to see the test results on a graphical image. You can repeat the same procedure for all the samples.
thank you for watching our video instructions.